Lisa the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today we're going to go on a little field trip. I have not gotten to go thrift store shopping in quite some time and today is the first day in nearly a year that all three of my children are in school. So I have my mask, I have my hand sanitizer and I am ready to go check out some local thrift stores and I thought I would bring you guys with me, tell you some of the things that I look for, show you some of the things that I find and uh, just have a good time. Let's go. Today I wasn't really looking for anything specific, just things that would catch my eye. And one thing I always keep an eye out for are interesting shapes. So of course I saw this little house. It looked like a fun little shelf that you could maybe alter and paint. I thought that was super cute. And then something else I always look for would be good brands. So for instance, I saw a Pottery Barn frame that I thought was a great deal, good quality, and I made sure to check it really well to make sure it wasn't scratched or broken. Yeah. These areas that have the little knickknacks are always fun places to check out because you can just find things that are in unusual shapes and unusual textures. I found this clay tray with the ceramic inside. I thought it was super cool and I loved the shape of it. And just because it is at a thrift store does not mean that it's a great deal. Uh, case in point, I am checking out all of the glassware and I see these vases that I buy at the Dollar Tree on the regular for $1.99, which would be twice as much as they normally are. I do like to look around and see if I see interesting pieces. And throughout this thrift store, there were all of these hand thrown ceramic pieces and they were all signed on the bottom and they were all over the place, like in different sections. And so it was really interesting to see that someone who had created pottery had definitely made a larger donation. Baskets are always available at any thrift store. Something I look for would be either very square baskets that are really functional in a craft space, or I look for unusual shapes or colors that kind of inspire me or attract my eye. More often than not, furniture that you find in a thrift store is probably going to need to be altered in some way. You might be painting it, you might be adapting it by adding a different tabletop. So make sure it's good quality to start with, or if you are planning on changing it in some way, make sure you have the know-how to have that happen before you buy the piece in advance. 
When I'm thrifting, I also like to look for unusual pieces that I don't necessarily know what they're for. So I think this might be a utensil holder of some sort, but it certainly looks like it could be a container that could be in a craft room and painted and pretty. I love this cake stand. How gorgeous is that? There's just all kinds of unusual things you can find. So I almost walked out of the store before I found this piece and it is only $8 and it looks like it was like made for a craft room. It is so beautiful. Definitely for an office. It is torn up. It's definitely kind of chipped and dusty, scratched, but it was regularly $50 at Home Guns. It seems to be built relatively well. It's that particle board stuff, but you can pull out these dividers, which I think is awesome because it can change up and the drawers slide really well. So this is definitely an intriguing piece, something that you could uh, change and adapt. So I'm very interested. Okay, so the first store was okay. It felt like things were a little overpriced. There were things that were Ikea things that were more expensive at Salvation Army than they are at Ikea. And I found things that I can pick up at the Dollar Tree, like actual vases that I've seen at the Dollar Tree for $1.99. So things were a little overpriced. Luckily there is another thrift store right across the street. So we're gonna go check that out. Let's go. Look at the spinning tower. It's obviously from a store. It needs the parts that you would hang things on, but this was very, very cool. You can often find not just things to organize your craft room, but things to actually craft in your craft room. So these were brand new mirrors just asking to be customized and they had a bunch of them, which would be a great home decor project. I like looking for pieces like this. Again, not my color, but I think you could change this up and it could be a pretty cool piece on display in your home or in your craft room. I also generally run into a lot of office things like office organization things, which of course can work well in your craft room. A lot of times they are colors or materials that I'm not super pumped about, but that can be changed with a little bit of spray paint. Those are excellent for organizing current projects. There were clipboards that could be customized in journals that you could recover. definitely love checking out the ceramic section. This one was organized so nicely by color. So you could find colors and shapes and it wasn't so cluttered that you couldn't see things. Super fun to look at and be inspired just by all the shapes. That's what I really, really enjoy.
Okay, a little more success, I guess, in that one. I'm definitely out of practice because I was just having trouble envisioning some things. I really wanted to buy that big spinning tower that was obviously like a store display, but I just don't have a place for it right now. Um, I think in a future craft room, that would have been awesome, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. So I don't know, maybe I'll talk to my husband and we'll come back and get it. So we'll see. One more store, let's head out and um, go there. This particular store was packed with so much stuff. You definitely had to be willing to dig. It was relatively well organized, but there were definitely um, instances where customers had just kind of shuffled things and moved things around the store. So you had to be willing to dig in and see what they had, which is definitely something that you need to be in the mood for if you're going to go thrift shopping. There were tons of great finds at this store, tons of great deals, things that you could be used, like could be used to craft to organize a craft room. I loved this box. It was only $5. The kitchen section is a great place to check out. You can always repurpose kitchen items in your craft room for organizing. I loved this paper towel holder. I just really couldn't figure out how it fit on the wall very well. If it was supposed to be on the wall or on a desk, there were lots of baskets and trays and pans, just things that you could use um, that could really serve a nice purpose. And then look at this wooden bowl. How cute is that little spinning bowl? All right, at this point, it was starting to get pretty crowded in the store, so I decided to head on out. So we will head back to my house and I will show you all of the treasures that I bought. Let's go. All right, so I'm back from thrift shopping and had a fun time, found a few things. First of all, I did buy this piece. This is from the Salvation Army. It was $8 and when I put it in my car, it, this little piece broke off, but I think, hi Penny, I think I'll be able to glue that on. I think I can spray it. I think I can cover these drawers in some fun colors. I'm pretty excited to play with it. And I figured for $8, it was a pretty good deal and worth giving it a try. So excited about that. Um, at the next store, I found a few kind of random pieces. First, I found this placemat that I actually um, can use for photo props in my craft room. So I was excited about the texture. I found a couple of 
lunch trays. So in pink and in red, and these are great for organizing your ephemera pieces, your paper pieces, things for a project. And so I love having these around and I thought the pink and red were super fun colors. So got those. Um, this was $3. These were two of them for $4, which is a pretty good deal. And then I also picked up, I couldn't pass up this beautiful purple bowl. As you can tell, purple is my favorite color. Um, this one was, I think it's was a dollar ninety-nine and from World Market, which is pretty cool, pretty good weight. And so I thought I really needed to have that. So picked those, just a few things here and there. And then the last thrift store I went to, I found a couple of really cool things. I got whew, this piece. So at first I thought this was an Ikea piece, but it's actually heavier than the ones that they sell at Ikea. So I don't think it um, is from there. This was only $5. It's pretty substantial. I thought it would be so fun to decorate. I don't know if it'll make it into my craft room or into one of my kids' rooms, um, but I'm excited to work with this and for $5, but a fun project to work on. And then I also found a couple of vases for my desk in my craft room because I'm organizing my pens in bright vases. So I found this pink one, which was a great size and shape. Um, and it was like a dollar fifty. So what a deal. And then I found this sweet one that has a little butterfly on it that is going to be great for holding some stamped images. I've been swatching all of my materials. And so I'm stamping out the swatch cards in advance and need something to hold them in. So this one was like a dollar fifty. So great deals to be found, spent probably just under $30 and have some fun projects that I will be able to work on. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Let me know if you like to thrift shop, what are your, some of your favorite thrift finds? I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.